Okay. So the first things first, um, if you will get into your title page, and you're going to notice I'm going to be using things like, and I'm just going to put these right on the screen, a less than sign and a greater than sign. And of course, if, you, if you're familiar with our setup for different things, the less than means come down onto a new line, and a greater than means uh, go in one tab. So if you have two greater thans, it means come in two tabs. Now, you're going to see on my title page where I have the at symbol and county. You can set a database up for anything that you need multiples of. For instance, um, I'm pressing my F7 key here and it picks up at county and it shows me my database of all the counties. So the nice thing about this is you can go through your title page very quickly by using the F7 key. Now, if you are in your actual include file, F7 will not work. Um, it will only work once your title page becomes a part of your transcript file. So if you're doing this with me in your actual include file, if you place your cursor in front of at and an identifying name, then you will come up here and you will be depressing this icon right here. And then it will highlight it. You'll notice in my database for this, it says replace at county. So all I need to do at this point is select the county and say replace. Because I'm using F7, it also will stop on any open bracket. That means I can start typing in whatever I need for a case number. I'm going to depress F7 again and it will stop at this bracket and F7 again. Now, before, judges. For those of you that are officials, you can create a database of all your judges if you are in front of more than one judge. So when it hits the at judge, I'm saying I'm going to replace the at judge, and I'm going to select uh, Joseph Williams here and replace. Now it goes to my date. I'm just going to skip over that and get to the important part, which is my ad attorney. Now, I'm going to stop this for one moment, and just so I can show you, I'm just going to go down here uh, a little bit. The important part of this in place in doing your addresses is you need to know how many tabs over you want it to start. Just as an aside, when I was still working, I used to start my ad attorney way over on my page. And it would have meant my having to put in like four or five tab indicators when I created the, the actual address. So being lazy, um, I just redid this and I've got one tab now. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to hit my F7 key. It's going to open up this database. Now, I'm going to highlight this one, and I'm actually going to go to Edit so that you can see um, what I'm doing here. And I start out with the name of the firm, so Logan, Wysick, and Sebastian. I have a new line symbol one greater than, and now I want to list all the names of the attorneys in this particular firm, and there could be 60 of them. So in order for me to create what I like to call a database within a database, I'm going to set this up where my second line is going to have by and then I will get a list of the names of the attorneys. 
So in doing this, if you want to do the database within the database, it would be by leave a space. You're using the open squiggly bracket, the at symbol, and my identifier, I'm using name. I have another new line, a tab, and then you can see it's just the address, and on the last line, it's the city and the state, okay? And my zip. So I'm going to select this, and you'll be able to see now how this works. So I'm going to click Replace. You see how it brought this in, and it's stopping at the second database, and these are the names of the attorneys in that database. So I'm going to select Bob Phillips, and I'm going to say Replace. It now goes to my second attorney. And you'll notice that you can place the database within a database anywhere. It doesn't just have to be on the second line. It's however you want it to be set up. So right now, I'm going to start out with the bracket, at name, followed by the name of the firm, and then the address. So I'm going to say replace, and I'm going to select George Jones and replace. And we'll go up here, and hopefully there it is. George Jones, Johnson and Smith, and so on. So you can actually create anything that you want where you are filling in information over and over again or cutting and pasting.